So here we're doing a hardwood floor deep clean. This floor has uh, taken quite a beating over the years. This is at a manufacturing plant, and this is one of our regular clients. And they have just painted the walls in their facilities. So they've had they've they've had uh, a lot of paint spills and a lot of painters coming in and out. So the the floors are trashed, and this place. They do have a high level of traffic. It is a manufacturing plant, so they do have a lot of things getting dragged all over the floors, um, machines coming in and out, um, all sorts of stuff going on here. So uh, these floors have taken a beating. They are very worn, they're very scuffed, they're scratched, they're marked up. So they're in pretty bad shape but we are here to give it a good deep clean and remove the paint and all the soils embedded in the floor. So, not often, but every once in a while, we use uh, the green pad on these sort of jobs. The red pad's just not aggressive enough, but for the most part, we always use a red pad, but for this job, uh, we decided to use the green pad for the agitation and removing the paint and other soils that are embedded in the, in the flooring. Uh, if this was a residential job and the floors were in much better shape and not as damaged as they already are, then I probably wouldn't have used the green pad. And uh, following the green pad, we work in sections here. We mop up the uh, the dirty solution with the rayon bonnet. And then we'll go into another section and do the cleaning with the green pad and then soak up the slurry with the bonnet. And we started this with a good pre-vacuum and um, then we applied the solution and we just started using the uh, green pad. This did a great job at removing the, the, the paint and the soils and uh, uh, floors look great when we were done. But afterwards, uh, we did do a post mopping with our 24 inch mop after we got done buffering the floors. And uh, we went and neutralized the floors after we were done. And uh, to remove any of the extra um, swirlies that could have been present as well. So the floors aren't sticky and, and full of residue. Um, And to remove all the soil and, you know, there was paint there, the paint and, and the soil that was embedded in the floors, that, that's not going to come out with mopping. And I'm not going to get a little razor and try to get every little bit of paint off the floor. Uh, that would take forever. So the only way to really truly get these floors clean was to use the 175. You can use an orbital too. And 
the 175 did a great job at tackling these uh, stains and and all the different soils that were on the floor the floors look great and as I said we we neutralize the floors when we're done with the with the with the mopping of all the floors. Make them look better when they're done and just um, so they're not sticky and full of residue. And we didn't we to we used a solution a little bit of. Um, Murphy's oil um, for uh, essentially like a surfactant and uh, 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 something that we um, it, since it has a high higher pH it, it, it's good to just kind of give it a little uh a little extra cleaning power in our solution. Now, it's it, this um, solution I'm using has very little Murphy's oil. I didn't go overboard, so uh, very very tiny amount of, of uh, Murphy's in our solution. But the neutral solution that I'm using also is uh, the Odoban neutral floor cleaner. And they've been painting, painting these facilities for roughly, uh, probably at least two weeks.
And we just got done with the buffering here. You can see the floors are drying. And we're going to do a post mop with the neutral floor cleaner. Now you could see all the paint and all that. It, it's all gone. Floors are brighter, cleaner. Just much better looking. And keep in mind these floors, it's at a manufacturing plant. They're very worn, very beat up. Um, you could see there's uh, there was a a, a bigger uh, area mat there. That's why it's it used to be a bigger area mat there, so that's why it's darker. And so you can see the floors have some sun damage as well because uh, they're real faded by those windows. But the floors are much cleaner, safer. And thanks for watching.